morning build session. I've got my coffee. Day build stuff. And now, today, this morning, I get to install the belts. The A and B drive belts are mirror opposites of each other with the B drive sitting above the A drive belt. Running the belts can be a little bit tricky. It can be useful to have a thin uh, pokey tool to sort of help push the belt through some of the tighter areas. A belt is in. I left hopefully enough extra slack here <laughs> to be able to tighten it down. The belt tightening block is another part that is a little bit tricky and is useful to have a uh, pokey tool to sort of help thread the belt through the slot. You need to get the belts here as tight as possible. There is limited range of tightening with the knobs in the rear, so the belts will need to be very tight in this step to be adequately tensioned later on. Belts are installed. I need to adjust the height of the pulley on the B motor. Here I'm checking to make sure that the belt tensioners function properly and I'm able to get the belts to feel really tight. Got my belt installed. That was kind of an ordeal as expected, but not too bad. Everything seems to be running, you know, smoothly, I guess, as it should be. I don't really know exactly how it's supposed to feel, but it doesn't feel like it's really binding or anything. So next up is the tool head. Missing a couple of components, so I can't quite get it fully assembled, but I think I can get it assembled enough to get it installed and looking like a printer. Okay. That's obviously the wrong length screw. I gotta get another one, but leaving it extra long like that will be a good reminder that that needs to be replaced. All metal hot end here. This is just a temporary Titan, however, this nozzle to heat break assembly would prove to be an ongoing issue later on. Using an X-Acto knife to extract the pins from this fan connector, 
I'm pretty sure there is a tool for this, but I don't have it and I like to live dangerously. With the pins removed, the wires will fit through the cable management holes in the tool head. Alrighty, looks like a tool head, I think that'll function. Print head is installed. Okay, well that about wraps up this session. I've got the belts, belts installed, gantry, tool head mostly assembled and installed. I've got to order some more screws, of course. You're always going to be missing one or two screws. That's not the correct length. I need to figure out uh, how the Bowden coupler attaches into here because that is not clear to me. There's no hook or anything on the inside. I've got to figure that out. Maybe there's different tool head parts that I need to print. need to install the heat press inserts into the front of this part so the fan can screw in. And I need my limit switches, which haven't shown up yet. I think they're going to be here today. So, good progress. And looking forward to getting this thing uh, printing.